Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Streamsy Community Call on September 19th. And the first point on the agenda is uh, PR and issues. The first one uh, PR is from Paul uh, Miller about uh, updating the components descriptions, where Paul is changing uh, some parts of the text uh, to, from Zookeeper to Craft. And it was approved by Jakub uh, Schultz, but Paolo is wondering if these changes should be done when the Zookeeper is still around, or so if we should wait or just replace it uh, with a craft based Kafka cluster uh, in the text. So, yeah, I think we can discuss it if it makes sense or if we will continue with that. From my point of view, I would change it uh, to the craft-based Kafka cluster as well to make it clear for the users when they are reading through the documentation. But I'm wondering what's others' opinion. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a big change. Um, so I'm just uh, sort of de-emphasizing the zookeeper aspect. So I've just dropped the so I changed the order. Uh, and I've removed Zookeeper from the diagram, that's all. Yeah, okay. And Paolo, are you okay with that? Or do you want to change it after the Zookeeper is removed or something? I mean, we, st we still mention Zookeeper. It's not like it's been uh, removed completely. We we do just have a description of it and just say, in in the updated description that uh, you, uh, you'd only use this if you weren't using a craft based cluster. Okay, Paolo, something about it. I think Paolo's having connection issues, so he seems to have dropped again. Uh, okay. Yeah, he did. He did post saying that he can't hear, and he was going to rejoin. In the chat. Okay. So, I think we can move back to this once Paolo is back. Uh, the next. PR is for Paolo as well. So let's go through the third one, uh, which is for Maros. And uh, it's about the performance tests, uh, which we are discussing for quite a long time. And I would like to know if we should move it to the open PR and get some reviews, or if it's somehow blocked, or you don't want to. Yeah, so update from this is that uh, yesterday I pushed some latest uh, changes. I already run today um, some regression on testing farm. Yesterday I also ran it and it was successful. But I have somehow changed it because it ran, I think, like uh, 12 hours. Now it should be like seven for whole uh, performance suite. So it would be better. And uh, regarding to the state, I think, yeah, we should uh, change it to ready to review because now I have, I think, changed everything. Okay, so we can uh, check it with other QE yeah. folks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Paolo, can you hear us now? Yeah, sorry guys, I am from the smartphone. The computer is in pains. I'm trying to restart it. So I will uh, try to, to join again in a better shape. Okay, so do you want to continue with the two PRs that are basically waiting for your answer? Uh, on this one, I guess that I'm going to approve. Uh, I was just asking if uh, making this change was not too early. But yeah, I'm fine with that. So I'm going to okay. approve this one. Oh. 
Okay, the second PR which is waiting for you is about updating the vertex to four Sorry, parts. sorry so Lukas, you, yeah. you can probably just go back to the original proposal and merge it then. Because the only thing preventing it from being merged was Paulo's command. Okay. Like this? Yeah, there's just one way to merge it. <laughs> okay, the next PR for Paolo is about the updating the vertex. I guess there is one check failing. Uh, so we should we get back to it? We will have a look at it and so, yeah, this is uh, a big problem. Um, I had the uh, Shubham uh, started to, to look at it. And now he's on PTO, so I think that uh, he will come back again uh, to check this. There is something with the, the dependency of uh, the Swagger to markup library, uh, which is not working anymore. Uh, we know this is a project that is kind of in a abandoned state. Uh, we tried more times to replace it. I don't know if it's the right time. Anyway, I think that Shubham was doing, um, doing an investigation to see what was breaking stuff and why these dependencies for this project now missing. Um, so I will wait for him and the outcome. I'm not sure he will be able to find anything groundbreaking the dependency just disappears from j center for whatever the reason is the the problem is that i guess it's it means that we are currently unable to release the bridge so uh, it seems like a problem yes a big problem Okay, so I don't know how for how long will be if you on PTO, but should someone else have a look at that? Shubham will come back on Monday. So I don't know if okay. uh, he has already some, uh, done some steps. Maybe he's forward on the path. Maybe he found something. Uh, so I, have, I, I need to have a chat with him uh, because even in the past, we tried to replace Wagger to Markup with no success. Uh, maybe we have to try again. Okay, cool. So I guess we can wait for the next week. Okay, is there any PR issue someone would like to Discuss. Okay, it seems like not. So there is one proposal uh, mentioned. Yeah, this is the... my certificate. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, there isn't any. <clears throat> um, there isn't a lot of change. I don't think to the actual proposal since um the last community call. Um, but just another kind of ask for people to take a look if they have time. Um, because yeah, even the people who originally approved it, Tino and Fede, I think it has changed quite a bit since you did that. Um, and I had some comments from Jakob, which I think I've responded to all of them now. Um, but yeah, just if anyone has a chance to have a look. Okay, thanks, Kate. Uh, is there any other proposal someone would like to mention? Seems like not. So uh, let's move to the issue triage. And we have a couple of issues here for 
longer time. So the first one is for the Paulo, uh, which is about supporting TLS in open telemetry. And uh, this can be done by uh, some environment variable. And we the issue or the task was blocked with uh, mounting the random secret into the pod, which is now available thanks to the latest changes. So yeah, there, there was a question about if it should be somehow implemented or is a question of the documentation now. So as Paolo mentioned, I guess it's just about the documentation, right? Yeah, I, I think so, because now we have everything in place. So we should just document that you can set that environment variable to point to a path mounted by a secret that now you can mount, as Jakub said in the comment. Okay, so something like this, or would you like to comment it more? Yep. So let's remove the needs proposal, right. Should we keep the help wanted? Well, not sure if it's something that, uh, I don't know, maybe Paul can take a look together. Yeah, with yeah, I've, uh, I've made a note to this one. Okay, thank oh. you, Paul. Okay. Okay. Cool, so. The next one is for the topic operator and cruise control experts, which is here for a quite long time. And I guess the issue was that uh, because of the changes to the topic operator and cruise control, the SSL cannot be disabled. So the uh, cruise control UI is not uh, accessible, not working. And I guess Kyle just I had a look and it seems that it should work out of the box with the disablement of the HTTP basic authentication. And we don't have any other info from the user if it worked or not. So should we just wait for the user to, to try it? Or are there any other opinions? Yeah, we actually don't know if uh, Kyle was able to debug together with the user on Slack, as we say, as they say it on the last message. So, yeah, can we get Kyle to just verify that that works? Hard to say. I can ping him on, a, on the issue together with the user so they can uh, say if the information worked or not. So something like this. Yep. Cool. Oops. 
Okay, so the next one is for the system tests, uh, which we debugged together with the community user, which also has uh, PR in the in the upstream. So I think he mentioned in the PR that he will have a look in a week or two based on his uh, time schedule. So I think we can just uh, remove the needs triage because it's uh, identified as a bug. And we can wait for a while if the user will come back and otherwise someone from QE can fix it. So like this. Okay, I guess so. So let's move to another one, uh, which is about documenting how the, or where are stored uh, examples and install files for the streams that are in clean deployment files. There was a discussion about, yeah, how it's confusing for the user that uh, there are no such zip for the drain cleaner and it's included in the streams one. And he said that he will open a PR in case that he will have some time. Yeah, so... we, we, we discussed this early in the week, uh, Lukash. Um... We thought to give it give it a little bit longer to see if he uh, responds, picks it up. Otherwise, um, yeah, I can have a look at it, uh, and I, I actually have a review of all the references to uh, the GitHub's GitHub releases page, just to see how we approach it uh, throughout the docs. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Perfect. So let me remove the needs triage. And let's move to another issue, which is about uh, removing the Read single line JSON string from resource uh, file method, uh, which seems to be used only for mocking the cruise control. And uh, yeah, Paolo had some comment here. So, Paolo, can you just say what you think about it? Should it be implemented? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I agree with Jacob. We should try to, so it seems that, I don't know, uh, so that this method, uh, this read single line JSON is just doing the same as read file from resources. So uh, I commented that we should try to use the second one. Or at least from the code, I don't see any reason why we have a dedicated one. Cool. So, like this, and should we add help wanted and a good start, for example?
Yeah, so the change should be simple. Uh, the thing is about understanding if everything works. So if everything works, is okay. If not, uh, the person should troubleshoot. But maybe help wanted this. Okay, not sure about which start. Okay, so let's keep just the help wanted. Okay, so another one is something for the system test. Uh, this issue is about moving some methods from the test details, which are used uh, only in the system test module to the system test module, which makes sense to me. And it seems that Maras already volunteered to do that. So Maras, would you like to have a look at it? Yeah, sure. If no one wants, I can do it. Did I assign it to? Yes, please. Perfect. Thanks. So uh, another one is from Paolo, which is uh, from my understanding uh, issue when we are doing a rebalance uh, with the auto approval and we will do a refresh uh, of the rebalance again. It can from time to time move the Kafka rebalance CR to the not ready state with this error. And uh, yeah, there is some proposal from Paolo to include this option in the post request, if I understand it correctly. So. Yeah, that was something that uh, I noticed while uh, implementing the auto rebalancing which because it's automated is able to recover easily, but uh, at this time you need to stop the Kafka rebalance and then run the Kafka rebalance again, while uh, on refresh by adding this annotation, you can just ask him to stop the current execution and uh, start a new one. So I guess that would be useful to investigate how to add this uh, to the query string the rest of for the query to the REST API endpoint. Yeah, I've got some opinions about how we manage ongoing rebalances. And I think uh, me and you should have a chat, Paolo. Maybe we set up a meeting or something for that. Yeah, sure. The headset, which is not working anymore, I don't know if you can hear me right, <laughs> but I don't know it's uh, Fedora, it's laptop. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, fix what's happening there. But yeah, we should have a look at this. Maybe some kind of force function or or something. But there, yeah, you have to be careful with uh, stopping an ongoing rebalance in the middle because you can leave Kafka in a very weird state. Provided you're doing a new one. But anyway, we should have a chat about it. And is this something that would need some kind of proposal to discuss everything? Um, I think, um, I don't, well, I don't know. There's there's self heal. We need to enable self-healing in cruise control. And that will, if self-healing is enabled, it's much more likely that when the user does a manual rebalance, that something is already going on. So... I think maybe it could be wrapped up into the proposal about self-healing if we do decide to enable it. Yeah, for, for this specific issue, I don't think we need the proposal. So, uh, of course, self-healing is something bigger, so that would be for the proof of work. Okay, so something like this, or do you want to comment it together with the... Yeah. Okay. I can actually see your comment. 
things go wrong in the review. Yes. Okay. So another one is about supporting Jolokia or something like that, uh, which um, the other issue is that currently it isn't possible to collect uh, the JMX metrics using HTTP, which is the JMX protocol, and uh, the collectors like metric beat uh, are not able to yeah, collect the metrics because they support just the Jolokia, but not JMX. And the, yeah, the idea is to add the support for the Jolokia, but Jakub mentioned that the metric beat can scrape the Prometheus metrics. So yeah, I don't know if we should continue with that or what are other thoughts? I think it's a slippery slope if you start trying to enable every metrics format there is. Prometheus is the standard. So I think for now, if if they can make it work with the Prometheus endpoint with some configuration on their side, then I think that makes sense. Of course, we're welcome to have um, contributions if they, if they think they can do it, but um, it's an ongoing support problem if we then got to carry a load of plugins. So. Any other opinions to this? So I guess I would write it a bit differently. So there are users using metric beat with the Prometheus metrics and metric beat supports Prometheus metrics. So I would phrase this not if the user is able to scrape it, but that using metric beat is not sufficient justification to add something like Jolokia because of the edit effort.
So it's not a sufficient, let's say, solution to add uh, to Jolotia, or how would you phrase it? Yeah, I mean, you can collect metrics with metric beat. So <clears throat> I don't think there's any justification to support Jolotia in here. There might be some, I don't know, from someone else or. Don't, don't delete the whole thing. Keep the thing around the effort for maintainability and testability because that's that's the main issue here, why we want to have only one way and not. So like this? Yeah. Okay. I think we can keep the needs triage label for the next time if the user will come back and say that yeah it's sufficient or not. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. And there is a last one, uh, which was said it just a few hours ago. And it's about uh, the issue that the user wanted to add some uh, custom labels using the Streamsy custom uh, label environment variable. But it seems that uh, yeah, the label is not propagated to the pods. At least that's my understanding of the issue. So, ah, okay. You commented out in four minutes ago, Jakub. Yeah, so I, I don't think this is bug. I think this is the mess what the Kubernetes labels are. Uh, the main issue is that they are very badly specified and everyone is using them for something different. And as a result, whatever you do, you will always get a bunch of people who want to use them exactly differently. Someone wants them to set you, someone wants them to set them themselves this way, that way, some completely different way. So like, yeah, you never make anyone happy here. So is this something we should, yeah, I don't know, close so or I, something? Yeah. I mean, it's open for four hours. We commented there, so I would simply keep it for next time. Like my vote would be to close this, but let's keep it for the discussion. I would just ignore it and not even triage it right now. Okay. Like, let's see if there's something more in two weeks. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. So that's everything from the issue triage, which brings us to the last point, which is any other business someone would like to discuss, raise, or mention? Okay, seems like not. So thanks everyone for joining uh, and yeah, see you in two weeks. Thanks very Thank much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.